The twelfth event, which would be the final event in any of the first three seasons of the Marvel Sports games, is here, and it's the Gravitrax Slalom, something that has not been seen since Season 1. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. Gravitrax Slalom, formerly won by Team Galactic in the first edition of the tournament, and that was their first medal, which would lead to four more. The Greenies up first against the Time Warpers in Heat 1 of 8, so that's a bit different this time. It's just head-to-head, -head. winner moves on, and to the surprise of nobody, the Time Warpers fail miserably. Greenies get it done, hoping to extend their championship lead. As the Valiant Vanillas, their biggest competition, is going to take on the Rainbows. Valiant Vanillas got dead last the first time this event happened, but they're not going to do it this time, as the Valiant Vanillas are going to move on with a 365. That looks to be a good time, I'd say. Galactic and the Stingers now. Galactic won the first time this event was held. What can they do against the Stingers? They faced head to head against them a couple of times. Stingers hold the lead. Can Galactic get it back? That's a photo finish. Last time in the balance battle, Galactic got it done, and they do so here by two hundredths of a second. Their third member, Astron, can beat Flutter. Moonlight Titans about to take on our host now. Moonlight Titans just won their second goal of the year. Can they stay neck and neck with Balls of Fire? They do, and this all comes undone. Balls of Fire. Knock out the Moonlight Titans. Chili Cat size up now against the Blueberry Button. Barry got second in the first edition of the Slalom, and Yellow Eye is not going to be able to catch up to the third representative of the Blueberry Button. That is Bluey, who's coming off of a silver medal. Aquatics and True Blue now, and Aquatics lose one, they're going to have to manage it with three, and do they get it done? Their captain rolled out of the gate, and look at this, they've done it! All three of the Aquatics that crossed the line beat the third member of True Blue, and the Aquatics get it done, even with a member short. Bronze Tigers and the Golden Lynxes now, two cat teams going head-to-head, -head. it's the Golden Lynxes out in front, but Cheetah blocks Lion, and the Bronze Tigers, look at this! Right there is when Lion gets hit, and they slow to a crawl. Lion being the third member, that's no good. Flamethrowers and Blue Moons up now. Flamethrowers didn't do great first time this event was held. They're doing much better here. Domination of the Blue Moons right there. And I just... Maybe the Flamethrowers, they've always been good at team events, so you wonder. Make this, this a bit of individual event before, make it a team event, and the results are showing for the Flamethrowers fans. Alright, this is a match that could have huge championship implications. Greenies versus the Valiant Vanillas. If the Valiant Vanillas have any time to strike, it is now. They're out to the lead. Greenies, come back. The Greenies are done it. They've done it again. And they're going to get another top four finish. They'll be facing the winner of Team Galactic and Balls of Fire. The home crowd desperately willing. Balls of Fire on. Can they knock out the defending slalom gold medalist? And they do. Galactic is gone! And the home crowd pretty thrilled with that one. Blueberry Button's gonna take on the Aquatics now. Neck and neck so far! The Aquatics heads ahead and they hold it! Barely over the Blueberry Button, but the Aquatics will get another top four finish. The final one, the Flamethrowers and Bronze Tigers. Tigers have a Flamethrowers on the top lane! And they come back and they get it done. Four hundredths of a second. The Bronze Tigers are going home. Here we go now for the semi-finals. The Greenies versus the Host. Can the Host stop the Greenies? They have a huge lead now, but it comes undone! This is going to be a photo finish, but the Greenies got off to a huge lead. And they blow it! Balls of fire to the final! And the home crowd is going crazy with that come from behind victory. Wow! Here we go now for the second semi-final, a huge rivalry, Aquatics versus Flamethrowers! That was not close. Oof, that was a drubbing. Aquatics to the final. Flamethrowers, they're going to the third place match to hope to deny the Greenies of another medal. Go, and it's the Flamethrowers leading. The Greenies are right there! The Flamethrowers get across the line? They all piled at the end. Yes, they did! And the flamethrowers, by one hundredth of a second, had denied the Greenies of another medal.
No time to rest though, here we go for the final! Balls of fire in the aquatics! Can the host get another goal? It's the aquatics leading! Here come balls of fire! It's not gonna be enough! The aquatics have won gold! Two events ago, the Bronze Tigers won their first ever Marble Sports Games gold, and believe it or not, it's taken the aquatics until now to do so. Sure, they've got one in the qualifiers, but this is their first A-League medal, and they're gonna savor that! The aquatics are triumphant, and they put out the fires today, besting both the flamethrowers and the balls of fire in the semi-final and the final. Congratulations to the aquatics, balls of fire, the pump crowd, happy to still for the flamethrowers of bronze. And the overall standings, the green is holding 15 points deep over the Valley Vanellas, but with just two medals, the aquatics are up to third! Can you believe it? The last week dropped off the podium, the flamethrowers are up to well, the fire up to three. And in the basement, the time works for they better win four goals in a row if they want any shot at winning with just four events left here in the Marvel Sports Games Season 4.